Ah, here we go. Let's make a little, um, let's take, what is this? It's the uh, L7805 CV. So basically, that's a uh, 5 volt regulator. Yeah. Let's make uh, a 5 to 12 volt variable power supply from it. Let's get the socket board. There are a few components here. There's a couple. There's a few components here actually that shouldn't even be here because these are just out. I just built a little voltage doubler just to see what good. Um, and they just pulled it apart. I should have really shown that. That's, that's a quick little circuit, but 10 volts in again. 22 volts out. Uh, or something like that. I can't remember what it just did. Uh, okay, so let's get this thing very broad in. So, right, first of all, what we want to do is control the voltage. So we're going to and check on the resistor on. This is a 220, 220 ohm red red black. We're going to put that between the output and the uh, common. There we go, beautiful. Uh, we need a little tiny bridge with a wire. Uh, I'm using um, just little bits of regular, but it's really thin wire, uh, but it's multi strand, so it, it does bugger up sometimes going in these socket boards. but. I've got some single core stuff and I've got some on its way so I can make more more of these little jumpers uh, so what I need to do is get this side connected to that side and we're going to chuck this in for that sorry I'm not actually showing you um, I can really get me some tweezers God dang it, yeah, let's use this one instead, it's going to make life a bit easier. So let's press that in there, press that across that side. We've got a little variable resistor. Uh, what is this? Is this a 10k? 502, so that's a 5k, isn't it? So we've got a 5k resistor. Uh, now, I always wonder, do I stick it on the middle one? Do I stick it on the, on the other one? Uh, I'm not really sure, so I'm going to put it on the end one. Uh, well, I don't think it really matters too much and then I'm going to connect uh, the middle one which would be the wiper I suppose I think, I'm not quite sure how this actually works uh, this particular one and connect that to ground uh, so I'll just check where my layers turn over with the and just shove that in the ground there beautiful Okay, so we can control the voltage. He says, right output, a uh, little uh, high pass filter, 100 nanofarad ceramic. I'm just going to stick that in on the output leg, and that's going to go down to ground. So I'm use my tweezers, big cluddy fingers. Okay, so that's going to go down to ground. And then I'm going to stick another capacitor there, um, and that's going to get a ground as well from the output. Just uh, it's more for transients rather than ripple. I read that. I read that. Uh, the transient. Oh, I read. No, I obviously read all it's happened. I mean, just can't just do this. Do. Uh, and now we're going to, um, let me just make sure I'm missing anything out here. So we've got our output there, and that's ready. We can stick a, we can stick this in there for the output. And this is going to stick this onto a multimeter. And we can have uh, a negative in a second. Right, input. Just, uh, I'm going to go DC in. I'm not going to put a little bridge rectifier there. I really can't be bothered. Um, I suppose that will make good for a, a next one, but. Not just for now. So I'm just going to go. Uh, uh, am I doing that right? I prefer to stick a bit of wire in there actually. I'm sorry if my blooming hands are getting in the way. Probably a really silly place to have the camera angled. Uh, so that's going to go to the positive input. Uh, to the input, sorry. And I'm just going to chuck that in there. 
you know, stranded by her again, so it does mess up a little tiny bit. Um, and then I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna put this I'm gonna put this to ground from that input. This capacitor, it's a bigger one. Uh, and it doesn't really matter too much, you know, as long as you make sure you've got the, the right voltage thing going on, that you don't put a lower voltage to what you're going to be putting through here. And as I'm only going to put like 14 or 15 volts, um, you know, sort of car battery, 13.8 uh, type thing that you might get from a battery, so you can just like, you know, uh, have a bit of a variable on that. We've got a 50 volt, uh, it's a thousand. Yeah, one five. So anyway, so basically, if we just give a little bit of a uh, bit of um, jump wires here, so we can have a, we can have a just jump this negative to negative over here, over here, um, and we're going to have a positive input. So I'm just going to pop that into that same well, so it connects into the out, uh, input there. Just make sure these resistors are in. Uh, and then we want a, um, and then I just need a, a negative for my uh, multimeter. Okay, I think I'm missing something. Not quite sure what it is, but a uh, little quick look. Well, so simple. Look, how many components? One, two, three, four, five, and a few Y six. And a few Y's, and you can take a like 13.8 volt, 14 volt. I'm going to do on this. Um, and you can regulate it between sort of 5 volt and um, 12 and a half. So you don't have to worry about messing up 9 volt stuff or anything in between the 5 and the 12 and a half. And I reckon that's, that's, that's pretty good. Uh, and I'll then need just another wire to uh, for the power. So what does that do? The power negative, I could connect it onto there, I suppose, but I'm not going to. I'm going to keep it separate. I prefer that's it, have a better color just so I don't get messed up because I know I class that as positive, I class that as positive, and if that was by like there by a black, I class it as positive. But if it's there with that, I probably have this as a positive and that as a negative. I would have it like that, I would have it like that. So, okay, uh, we don't need those other capacitors. Uh, all the capacitors facing the right way, electrolytics facing the right way. So let's stick a um, multimeter. I'll just grab that and put it so we can see it in here. Something like that. I'll have to move my. Do something like this. Yeah, there we go. That would do something like this. Uh, where's the uh, negative? The multimeter. The dump. And my power leads. It's here. And we connect the negative to that. Do that nicely in case I do touch. And then we're going to do the other negative. They're positive, sorry. For the power. So there. Okay, right. So um, my power supply is in the background there. I don't know if you can see that. But if I turn it on anyway. You should be able to see it goes to 14 volts if you can't to a bit closer. 14 volts look. There you go. And on the output of this on the multimeter, we got five volts. Just very, very slightly over. Now if I use my little screwdriver and I'm going for a twiddle on this variable resistor if I don't knock it out of course just put it right in there shift my big cloudy finger and we can go oh a bit too quick need to go back a bit and we got a nice variation between sort of 5 volts and we can go turn that and up we go 6, 7, 8, 9 10, 11, 12. Oh, look at that. Oh, I was going to say, bound 12.5. That would have been a bit cool, but. Uh, so we can squeeze like 12.6. It's not really any higher. Between uh, 5 and 
and that's pretty good because really I, I can adjust this down actually if I put just this to 13 uh, 13.8 let's do 13.4 okay yeah uh, little battery there if it was in a car battery or something it's one of the little variable supply but you only had a 5 volt uh, so we've got 12 volts basically and you go as high as 12 I'm going to start backing that off all the way down again and on 5 volts there now the interesting thing well the nice thing about this circuit is with a couple of bits and pieces like you can uh, uh, stick a diode um, but you could do a bit of a path back to the inputs. We don't, we're not chucking uh, any power from uh, capacitors back into the output or anything. So we could put a diode as a path back to the input of this transistor. We could, um, we could connect a power transistor from the output uh, to the base of the power transistor, and from the input to the um, to the collector, and then instead of using this as our positive coming off we can uh, come off the emitter and have a high current the the little voltage regulator won't have to pass any current it'll put it through the transistor um, the pass transistor it's called in that um, connection and you can have the current passing through that and the regulator won't even need to be heat synced you could actually use a different uh, different package um, what was it the, the, the TO90 or something the, the little tiny ones um and just a heat sink your um i don't know tip tip 3055 probably a good choice um or a 2n 3055 if you've got stuff that's got the holes in it for that heat sinks um and have yourself a nice you know a, a bit of power a uh, couple of few months quite happily running through a uh, tip 3055 oh more than that more than that um yeah brilliant and of course you can do this with the LM317 and uh, have a completely, uh, on the output of the LM317, if you put a couple of um, power diodes, uh, you can actually have it naught to your voltage. Uh, and using this resistor here, uh, and the 10K part, you can set it so you've actually got naught to 30 volts out if you like. Um, or using a 220, like it says on the uh, data sheet, uh, you've got like 34 volts out. Uh, depending on your voltage going in of course you know that's like a, of course of course of course so yeah nice simple simple little circuit turn it off turn it power a simple little circuit turn it off too uh, and it's so easy to stick some uh, stick some little modifications on just to get extra power um, you have to rewire it slightly if you put the NM317 in because uh, because it's a, it's a different setup. This one's dead easy. It's input, output, the middle pin, and the right pin is uh, is, is the output. Sorry, the uh, middle pin's common, and the left pin there is uh, is the input. Dead simple. Dead simple. I hope you actually got to see that with the camera because I'm still not very good with this whole camera malarkey. Um, but it's such a simple little tiny circuit. I'm actually going to build myself a. Um, I'm going to build a couple of these basically together on a board. I'm going to use some, uh, probably three each side of tip 3055s, and I'm going to see if I can put together a dual channel power supply that I can use up to 60 volt um, by um, by linking them together. It's not, you know, it's, it might be a couple of videos down the line. So I'm trying to find a box, project box I can put it into. But I've got my toroid. I've got some. Um, some I've got pretty much everything I need to do it apart from the project case and maybe some more pots I've got some 10 turn pots actually anyway tangent diverting nice little circuit brilliant and one of these things where you keep playing around with these socket boards building these little circuits oh, I'll tell you you can learn so much so quick see you guys thanks for watching